There was more fanfare than firework last year at Fanfares and Fireworks. From Mother Nature, of course, we had all kinds of rambunctious thunderstorms that continued for hours and hours. We are confident that will not happen this year, and we're pleased to give you a, a relatively good-looking 4th of July forecast from the UF Weather Center. I'm Jeff Hoffman. UF forecaster Rebecca Kopelman will join me in just a minute. We've had a lot of moisture in the air lately, and you can see that on this future track loop. There's going to be some more moisture moving through Thursday right there, that milky white color and some of that green. That indicates some moisture that's adequate for a more widespread thunderstorm development. But as we move into Friday, we actually see some drier air moving in that will get our 4th of July holiday kicked off to a hot but mainly dry start. Your hour by hour forecast for fanfares and fireworks shows a small chance that a shower or thunderstorm could pop up. After all, it is Florida. We do have sea breezes to deal with, but with less support for widespread thunderstorm activity, most of them should taper off by 8 or 8.30. Of course, it will be warm at Flavette Field, but cooling off nicely by the time the fireworks go off a 10 o'clock temperature of 81. If you have plans elsewhere across the state, you have forecaster Rebecca Kopelman's tracking your three-day weekend forecasts in other cities. Well, conditions are going to be similar across Florida with low rain chances, at least to start the week, especially in Jacksonville. Heat ind index valleys on Friday could be near 100. Rain chances stay low. They start to increase on Sunday as we're tracking potential sea breeze merger. Similar forecast in St. Augustine with temperature staying near that 90 degree mark and a higher chance for rain comes on Sunday. In southern portions of the state, though, there are slightly higher rain chances on Friday in Tampa and St. Petersburg. You may have to dodge those from 2 to 5 o'clock. Lower rain chances on the 4th, but increasing once again on Sunday and slightly warmer temperatures there in the low 90s. And in Orlando, to round it out, rain chances staying relatively low Friday and Saturday, but increasing. And there could be a few stronger storms with that sea breeze murder in Orlando after 2 o'clock. And you can always get the latest on your local forecast at ufweather.org.